it's so difficult to control them 90 minutes. Uh, I said to the halftime to the team, so another and against another opponent, the game will be over. Against this team, it's not be over. It's not over. And uh, it was right this. So, and uh, after the last five minutes, ten minutes, so we take the ball again, and after we we control and we won the game. We suffered a little bit first half, um, but the response second half was was fantastic. I thought the, the players were amazing. Uh, played with quality, played with courage, played with uh, intensity. So I'm really pleased. It's hard to be really pleased when you've lost a game of football, but again, we're not necessarily competing with Manchester City. We have to hold our hands up and say there's a, a gulf there. But in terms of the performance of the team, really, really happy. Gabriel Jesus had the shot for the second, but I think if it hadn't deflected you, it wouldn't have gone in. So it's definitely your goal. Yeah, I had to tell him that um, <laughs> it nicked off me because I don't think he realised. Uh, but yeah, a goal's a goal. You know, sometimes we're in the right places, you get that kind of look. So, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, Phil Foden, excellent again. So dominant, weren't they, at, at, at Martin, overall, but particularly in, in midfield? Oh, well, their midfield players, Silva, Gundogan, uh, just wonderful footballers. Their movement, Gary, off the ball, yeah. to play against it, it must be an absolute nightmare. Foden, of course, we know gets better and better every game. He comes deep, and then all of a sudden, that's the signal for the midfield players to sprint into that central area. We're going to just set it up here. Foden, you see Rodri, of course, he sits the night watchman. And then the two midfield players either side can just wander and just play some magical football. And that's what and their movement is, is outstanding. They'll arrive now in, this, in the central position. They just keep going, they wander into that position. I can only wonder what that must be like to play against, because you have one player, suddenly you've got three to pick up. Foden drops out, and that became their theme through, through the afternoon. The game was really one in half an hour. They were so brilliant. This is Gundogan showing his range of passes. Jesus not playing down the middle, he plays on the right wing. Had to show that because Dunk was absolutely brilliant with his clearances as normal. But these are the two players. They go the other side. Foden drops deep. Gundogan Silva in those central positions. Is that hard for a central defender to know what to do? It's, it's a nightmare, Gary, because there's no one there and suddenly there's everyone there. Yeah. You don't know who to pick up. This is the little man again. Covered more distance than any other player today, Bernardo Silva. The shot comes from Foden. But who is it clearing up? Those two again in that central position. Gundogan, top goal scorer last season. Again, they, they don't really get the credit that they deserve. This is a wonderful look. Look at that for a layoff. Grealish, he's joined the party now. Yeah. Little assist for him. Foden getting ever better and quicker. Slots it away, and they really are now showing their quality. Yeah. Foden got man of the match, Jermaine. I mean, he's, yeah. he's some talent. He would play anywhere as well. It doesn't matter where it is. Outstanding. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was sensational today. He's gone from, you know, in Pep's eyes, him telling us the message of we need to be kind of patient yeah. and wait for him to, it, I would arguably say, the, the first name on a team sheet. Yeah. So, brilliant. Certainly. What's his best position? I think he'll end up where David Silva played, I think, yeah. eventually. You know, he scores goals, Floater creates. Around. Yeah, I think he'll make things happen. I think yeah, that is the spot I eventually see him ending up. OK.